Catherine Ashburn. She's in the USA Today building over in Roslyn, Lauren. Yes, hi, Buck and Andrea. We're on the 22nd floor of the USA Today Tower. Over my left hand shoulder is the Pentagon building with the billowing smoke. To my right here is Joel Suckerman. He is the assistant managing editor of USAToday.com. On his way to work, he witnessed the plane crash into the Pentagon. Joel, tell us what you saw. Well, while listening to the radio reports of the World Trade Center uh, problem, uh, there was a sonic boom, and looking straight ahead, there was a jet, what looked to be an American Airlines jet, probably a 757, uh, and it uh, came screaming across the highway. It was uh, Route 110 on the west side of the Pentagon. The plane went west to east, hit the west side of the Pentagon, immediately flames uh, uh, were, were stirring up into the air. It was white smoke, and then within seconds, thick black smoke. Everybody got out of their cars. People were shocked. Then there was another plane that uh, was off to, the, uh, off to the southwest, and it made a beeline straight up into the sky and then angled off, and we weren't sure if that was going to come around and make another hit or if it was just trying to get out of the way. That disappeared, and we didn't see it again. All right. Describe the first plane again. You say it was a commercial jet. Do you know how many engines? I did not see the engines. I saw the body and the tail, and it was a silver jet with the markings along the windows uh, that spoke to me as an American Airlines jet. This was not a, a commercial, a, excuse me, a, a, a business jet, right? It was not a Learjet, a Gulfstream, something like that. It was, a, it was a bigger plane than that. And what were people doing? Could you see the effects at the Pentagon at that point? Uh, the Pentagon uh, just turned black. Uh, charred, and then the flames came up. It, we were all worried because it was bumper to bumper traffic, and everybody stopped and everybody got out of their cars. We were just worried if there was another explosion, it would just come uh, shoot fire at us, and we would all be toast. There was just nowhere to go. Right. Okay, Joel Suckerman, assistant managing editor of USAToday.com. Right now we're on the 22nd floor of the USA Today building, the Pentagon over my left hand shoulder. We're keeping an eye on the